It's getting witchy in here. We're back with a ranking of our favorite witches from film and TV. So buckle up or grab your brooms. This week on the No More Late Fees podcast, we are joined by Stephanie, the podcaster behind Books in the Freezer, and our friend and returning guest, Laura. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. (laughs) You guys, uh, well, we're super excited. Love always having Laura come back on. And Stephanie, we have been chit-chatting on Instagram for a while. feels like we're already good friends, but super happy to have you on. I say back because I want you back already. Why don't you (laughs) tell everybody about your podcast? Thank you. Yeah. So Books in the Freezer is a horror book podcast. It's bi-weekly and the name comes from that Friends episode where Joey puts the shining in the freezer because it's too scary. (laughs) And so it's a book recommendation podcast. So me and a guest will pick a topic or a subgenre like, you know, vampires, road trip, food horror, and we'll each recommend three books within that topic. And then we rank them on a scariness scale that is temperature based because it's books in the freezer. So <laughs> like the scariest books go in the freezer and then fridge and room temperature. I, I feel like all the books would go in the freezer for me. <laughs> I, I'm a scaredy cat. Danielle does not do horror well. <laughs> no. I mean, it's subjective. So. Yeah. I think the scariest things are the things that feel like they can really happen. Like, mm-hmm. that's yeah. why I think I hate those movies that are where someone comes into your house at night or something. Yeah. That always scares me the most. So that and yeah. Critters. Yeah, I don't want anything I can't kill. Like, like if it's a person murdering, I'm like, okay, I have a fighting chance. But like, mm-hmm. you give me like the grudge, I'm like, and, or it follows. I'm like, there's no way, th- there's no way to win. <laughs> uh, that's very valid, Jackie. Very valid. <laughs> I'm still scared of things that I can kill. As we already know, <laughs> I hate critters. Yep. Specific ones. Not good. You know, All right. them. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get into our game. So we are going to list our top two favorite TV or movie witches, and then collectively we have to rank them from one to eight. Ooh, okay. So, so you might want to be... back up or two because <laughs> your witch okay. may be stolen. <laughs> so I'll give us a little time to like... Okay think of some that and this could be tv movie and it doesn't have to be in our time frame okay okay oh this is hard i like a lot of witches <laughs> stephanie do you want to go first sure i'll say sabrina but specifically the kieran and shipka chilling adventures okay. sabrina and then should i give my second one too sure yeah okay my second one i'm gonna say the blair witch Oh, that's a good one. I've never seen that movie. I just know there's a lot of runny nose and stuff. (laughs) (laughs) It's spooky. There you go. There we go. (laughs) Jackie, do you have yours? I do. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to judge me. I will, but it's okay. My first one is Hermione Granger. Mm -hmm. Damn it. I knew that one was coming. <laughs> My second one is Balthazar Blake from The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, God, this fucking movie. I it love never the ends. Ends. <laughs> It never ends. Okay. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to write go her- last. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what his name is. You'll have to fill that one out. Laura. Lana. Mine will be obviously the scarlet witch Ooh, we love her one. scarlet my dog is named after her so that's a given and i 
was really contemplating all the witches are great, but I'm really feeling the supreme Fiona Good from American Horror Story. Ooh, I like that. Well, I'm right there with you with American Horror Story. I've got Marie Laveau. I Ooh. almost chose Marie Laveau. You know, Angela Bassett is a bad bitch on my good day, but when she was a bad She's witch, a witch. Mm-hmm. Oof, she played the hell out of that role. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and then my second favorite is Bonnie Bennett from Vampire Diaries. She deserved better. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I have a, my like one that I had just in case someone else had mine was Prue from Charmed because I felt like after a while, like towards the end of third season, that bitch was doing everything by herself. Well, I don't know what the other sisters were for. (laughs) She was astral projecting. She was blowing shit up. I can see why what's her face was real scared. Try to get Chan- got Shannon off the show. Just saying. All right. I'm surprised there was no Nancy from the craft. Yeah. Mm. My backup was, was uh, Kiki from Kiki's delivery service. Ooh, that's, <laughs> oh, a, that's good a good one. one. <laughs> I would have said teen witch, but when I thought about it, her powers were wasted on a, a weird man and, and a making rap. out a rap and she didn't do anything for her friend and she she was in the a crack house with that man so just never sat right with me all right let's see if we can rank these this is going to be interesting any I mean, nominations by, by power you... by the scariest witch the most powerful witch you know i don't know if we have any reasoning <laughs> but wait, we're gonna we're just gonna fight it out see okay so see who comes on top i would say scarlet witch is up there for me and then hermione i do love scarlet witch but i think i love her more from the comic books mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. i feel like they did well on the tv show but i feel like they're gonna backtrack this is just personal nonsense but backtrack <laughs> On what Kevin Feige said that she was the most powerful person in the MCU. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're going to backtrack because the fanboys are ridiculous. So if they don't backtrack on that, I love to see it. I, she has so much potential to really fuck shit up. Yeah. yeah. Well, as it is right now, she is the most powerful. Yeah. Yes. But good for her. I'm always down for Hermione. Stephanie, do you have a favorite favorite out of this list? I am loving the American Horror Story witches. Mm -hmm. Feeling the the pull towards them. Fiona was the blind one with her mom being crazy. No, that was the mom. Like she was the like the head of the coven before her. Oh, Jessica Lang, right? Jessica Lang. She was Mm -hmm. evil. She was real evil. I'm not voting for that one. (laughs) She did get. She did get her come up. She did. She absolutely did. She was powerful. Angela Bassett is a badass in everything she does. Always. Yeah. We can do Marie Laveau as number Mm -hmm. one. She. She. And I love that it's kind of based on like someone that existed Mm -hmm. essentially. I just don't yes. want to see her in my dreams. <laughs> I would definitely say Hermione would be my second choice. Because those two idiots would have never gotten through never. anything without her. Absolutely not. The troll would have killed them. <laughs> <laughs> Done. That would have been the end of the series. Yes. Who else do we have? Scarlet Witch, definitely. Yeah. I never watched Sabrina completely through like i think i watched the first few episodes but it seems like she was like becoming a bad bitch towards yeah. and it definitely wasn't <laughs> our tgif version no <laughs> i i'm good with sabrina being number four yeah oh and okay. the blair witch messing with people in the woods yeah I was about stick to say. figures hanging from trees and kidnapping people and leaving people with like flannels and yes. bloody teeth Making all sorts of noise in the tents. Yeah. It gave <laughs> me nightmares when I watched it. It was pretty scary. Yeah. Young, but not like it. We have to watch that one, Jackie? 
Yeah, at some point. <laughs> no, ma'am. Danielle has to watch Saw this year, and I am oh my beyond God. ecstatic. I am not. Ex- I'm not happy about it. I'm really not looking forward to it at all. I'm gonna have to be just knock me out. I'm be sedated. <laughs> Eat a cookie and then just black out. Mm, okay, so what else? We have Fiona left, mm-hmm. and we can Bonnie... put Balthazar at the bottom. <laughs> Where is it from again? The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yes. Is that yes. Ken's favorite movie? No, no it's I Jackie's. love it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's Jackie's through and through. I haven't watched it in a long time. Ugh. Okay, I guess Fiona could come up since I guess none of you guys have watched Vampire Diaries, huh? I was about to say, like, I can't speak for Bonnie or towards Bonnie. I don't know who <laughs> she is. She saved all the white kids every fucking episode <laughs> <laughs> and, and then off screen the damn lady behind the show both a bunch of ladies behind the show were extremely racist and we're trying to kill her off every goddamn mm. time mm-hmm. it got so bad that the one of the leads had to say if you try to kill her off again i will leave the show oh my god yeah wow shame bonnie bennett is a bad bitch <laughs> and she's only th- and i say she's only this low because you guys haven't seen the show but everyone else who watches i know they they know they're <laughs> on their side yeah <laughs> justice for um, bonnie <laughs> all right i think i think that's good we're yeah. good yeah yeah so what is, what do we got jackie so number one marie laveau number two hermione granger three scarlet witch four sabrina from the chilling adventures five blair witch six fiona good sorry i had to look up her last name bonnie bennett at seven and balthasar blake at eight was that the nicholas was that the nicholas cage care okay yes okay not the apprentice does he become a witch later apprentice not apprentice yeah he has to learn how to be a sorcerer i might need to revisit that movie again it's fun (laughs) It's based on it's based on um the Disney movie, right? The with Mickey Mouse with the witch powers. It it has some like nods to it, but it's not fully there. Yeah. Okay. So we have a question for everyone. There have been rumblings that we might get a practical magic too. No, it's full on. They're oh, is doing it? it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Well, we have confirmation that they are getting, <laughs> we are getting a practical magic too. So what are some things we want to see in the sequel? I, I want more house. I want to see more of this house. <laughs> yes. That is my top, top of yes. my wish list. I want Rachel Evan Wood to be in it because she played mm-hmm. as the, the, the daughter. Mm-hmm. She's, she's got a witchy vibe in real life. So yeah. Yeah. I'm really hoping that she's in it. And she that's... already played a vampire queen. Yes. Was yeah. it True Blood? Mm-hmm. True Blood, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I want them to go darker. Yeah. Because it, like, as we, you know, talked about before, it was supposed to be darker. So I want it to lean into being darker. I want more magic. And I really want to see more of Sally, Sandra Bullock's power. They talk about it in the first movie, but we don't really get to see her full potential. So I want to see yeah. more of that. Yeah. And I would like her sister to, they kept saying she she had power. Was it being a slut? I think we, what, you know, let me not. But <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure that Stalker Channing and Diane West come back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love them so much as the aunties. And Uh so I'll be really sad if they have like some story or they've left or passed on. (laughs) I don't see why not, why they wouldn't be in it. I mean, they're still alive. So, and I I am assuming, yeah, I would love the the original director to come back too, but I I haven't seen him sign on yet. It's just those two, the original, one of the original producers and the composer, no, not the composer, sorry, the writer of the screenplay i would also kind of like to retcon and cast the cop as 
Timothy Olyphant 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 instead of Aiden Quinn like it was supposed to be. I knew that. Was it supposed to be that? Yes. No, he wasn't supposed to be the Aiden Quinn character. He was supposed to be an he was just an add-on. Like they were supposed to come together like his partner. Got it. Yeah. I want Timothy Olyphant in every movie. Always. (laughs) (laughs) With his gray hair, I think it would be hella spooky sexy. He knows how to play a cop. He was one in Justified. That's true. Very true. (laughs) Well, we're going to challenge both of you guys. As you know, we both worked at Blockbuster. So when we worked there, we were able to provide our employee picks. Well, some people, not me, because I never was asked. But (laughs) we want to make you honorary employees. And you guys pick three of your favorite movies that you would recommend to our listeners. Oh, my goodness. Like spooky movies, Halloween movies, yes. any any, movies, oh, any geez, movie you want. Pressure. Oh, oh no. no. That makes yeah. your heart happy. Oh my goodness. I needed like a week to mentally prepare. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna come in with the descent for one Ooh. of mine. I know that's one we have to watch as well. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> it's but so good, but it is I'm a not scary one. I'm not scared because I know the situation is nothing I would ever do. I'm never going in no fucking caves. <laughs> Problem. I- Anywho, Stephanie, any other <laughs> picks? <laughs> I would have to say the Adams family. Ooh, one of my the- all times. The first all one time. or the second one? I know people love the second one, but I have a soft spot <laughs> for the first one because I had it on VHS and I watched it like on a consistent loop throughout <laughs> my childhood. So <laughs> I love them both. But I love the first one. I feel like I could quote that movie along with it. I love that. And your third pick? My third pick, I am going to go with Lady Bird. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Laura, did you have time to think of your three? Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to go with Stranger Than Fiction. Ooh, that's a good I one. I just really love the, like, the whole baking aspect of that movie is what I wish I had in my life. Like that is if Laura went to culinary school and was a baker and worked in New York, like that is the dream right there. I'm going to say, and this one's one of the ones that, because I saw it so many times as a kid, I'm going to say Spaceballs because that was just a constant, like I would rent it so many times (laughs) that my parents just bought it for me, which is like really surprising as a youth owning that movie (laughs) and then my third pick oh gosh what are we gonna third pick I think I'm just gonna go ahead and say like the emperor's new group because that is my all-time favorite comfort movie no don't kill me but I'm sure you've heard this on the podcast I've never never seen never seen that one that's okay. It's a very. Um... I know it's good, and <laughs> it, and it's not. It, there's nothing. It's not because of the movie. It's me. I I just no. Didn't that's see it. fine. Remember, I didn't see. I hadn't seen Clueless for the yes. longest time. No, that was a crime. And then you shamed <laughs> I will, me. I will shame you Clueless. for the rest of your life for that one. But I'm glad you watched yeah. it. All is yeah. good. As, all is good as <laughs> rain now. Right is rain. All right, Stephanie. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find your podcast on social? Uh, I am on Instagram and TikTok at Books in the Freezer and on Twitter or X, I think at Books Freezer Pod and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Books in the Freezer. And don't forget to check us out at No More Late Fees on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Threads. And the witchy magic continues as we cover Bewitch next week. So that should be fun. Yes, me and Jackie will be <laughs> twitching our nose. <laughs> Like we're looking for a line of coke. <laughs> and, not, and on that note, be kind and rewind. 